Hey, this is Lama Rod. Um, thank you so much for all the questions that you all have been sending in. There are some amazing, really, you know, creative and depth and really important questions um, that I really want to get to over the next couple of weeks or so. And so I want to start first right now um, with a question that was sent in about acceptance. So acceptance is this teaching that says that, you know, we have to practice um, accepting everything that arises in our minds and our bodies in the world, right? And this is a teaching coming directly from the Buddha. And we keep hearing it right now, um, particularly in contemporary Dharma teachings. And this is a teaching that I offer quite a bit as well. I talk about acceptance and love and rage, my last book. Um, so this uh, teaching on acceptance is absolutely true that we have to actually have to practice this kind of what some teachers have called radical acceptance, right? But I think that most of us are just kind of asking for a deeper, you know, kind of understanding of this. And for me, what I have understood in my practice is that I can't change the things that I haven't accepted, right? Or I can't change the things that I am still struggling to admit, um, that they exist. Um, I know from my practice that I have spent many years really denying, struggling with, pushing away the reality of a lot of kinds of violence that have impacted me, particularly racism, right? Um, but to do this really intense radical work of acceptance, you actually have to go through the brokenheartedness. And this is what we're afraid of. This is what we're avoiding. Because for me to actually admit and accept the fact that racism is this thing that I have to struggle with and this thing that my ancestors have struggled with and this thing that we will continue to struggle with, you know, into the future, I have to move into this kind of brokenheartedness, which um, may feel like hopelessness. Um, and expressions of trauma and despair and sorrow and sadness. Like, it's a lot to take in. Like, it's a lot to, to really hold when we're telling the truth about the existence, you know, of, of suffering, right? But I know that I can't actually do the work of disrupting racism until I am able to move that brokenheartedness into a point of acceptance. And that acceptance isn't about condoning. It's not about celebrating. It's not about any of that. It's about just saying, this is happening. This, this exists, right? You know, this is happening in the relative world, right? Even though the relative world we can say is a dream or an illusion, the dream or the illusion is still happening. So you have to like tell that basic truth that this is happening, Right, because until I get there, all of my energy is going to be diverted or channeled into pushing away the brokenheartedness, running away from it, trying to erase it and cover it up. Once I go through the brokenheartedness, brokenheartedness, metabolize it, hold space for it, heal from it, move through it, then that energy gets redirected into the work of real disruption. And real disruption is based in um, deep ethical care. Um, and wisdom or clarity, so compassion and wisdom, right? Um, but the again, the real hard work is the brokenheartedness. Like, I have to tell myself the truth. And some of you are saying, well, why do I have to do that? I mean, you don't have to do that because quite honestly, some of us, we're actually not interested in getting free or liberated from all of this. We're actually more interested in being happy or comfortable or just getting through so if you're more interested in that, like, of course, you're not going to try to do this heavy labor and get to the essence of what's happening so we can begin to change it, you know, but if you're like me, I want to be enlightened. I want to transcend this whole cycle of suffering and return back into a real relationship with my most authentic self, right? And so having that goal means that, like, I'm going to do the hard labor of moving into broken heartedness and doing this hard work, you know, of metabolizing the suffering, the trauma, the despair, the hopelessness, and getting to the roots um, of, you know, reality itself. And that's radical acceptance. It's getting to 
ultimately the roots um, and the essence of ultimate reality so we can actually break free of the cycle of suffering. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Thank you. You can continue to submit questions as well. All right, thanks.